After Blackpink paved the way for idols to enter the world of ambassadors for luxury fashion houses, it has become more frequent for K-pop stars to seal deals with designer brands. However, this also leads to the scenario where some celebrities are only titled but penniless ambassadors, as their company had used the back door rather than letting the artists prove the legit compatibility between them and the brand, leading to the idols receiving little to no exclusive treatment. However, there are also idols that are so valuable to a brand that they are literally indulged in privileges and also have their image elevated to the next level after being taken under the brand's wings. Number 1. Jung Won Young Fred being 18 and having already bagged home nine ambassador contracts, Miu Miu, SK Telecom, Epiderm, Kirsch, Hopper Christine, Geospheres, Sway Kamabani, and Fred. While for each brand, Jung Won Young has always received enviable treatments, netizens believe nothing can top the way Fred, a high-end French jewelry and watch company, showers her with privileges regardless of whether she was working directly with a brand or not. What makes the string between Jung Won Young and Fred so special is how she's the very first South Korean to be the ambassador for the jewelry house and despite the extremely short time span since the day Fred announced Jang Won Young as their global ambassador, which was on August 19, 2022 to be exact, she has received treatments that are unprecedented. The privileges Fred secured for only Jung Won Young were first seen by the way they immediately arranged for her to attend a special exhibition in Paris after the announcement. Fred was so considerate of Jung Won Young that rather than letting herself prepare for the transportation, accommodation, and catering staff, the brand took everything into their own hands, making sure Jung Won Young never had to lift her fingers for anything. That's a bit of an exaggeration, I know, but the special treatment Jung Won Young was showered in during this trip was still not a joke. Right after Jung Won Young landed, she was taken to a gorgeous hotel Fred specifically prepared for her. While the name of the hotel wasn't revealed due to safety and commercial reasons, netizens believed the room was a suite in a bloodily expensive hotel considering the interior layout. There were also bouquets of flowers and a written letter exclusive to Jung Won Young, making everyone question how Jung Won Young could lead such a flamboyant princess-like life at just the age of 18. And guess what? At the time, she had just been on board with Fred for three months. On the next day, Jung Won Young was also escorted around the city by a staff member of Fred. And later that night, she was again indulged in privileges as the brand especially sponsored her with a beautiful diamond jewelry piece Fred's Force 10 collection. Out of the four pieces she wore that night, the bracelet and necklace were so exclusive that their price wasn't listed, and for the ring as well as the earrings. The total value summed up to about 7,000 USD. The exclusive privilege Fred secured for only Jung Won Young was also seen through the way they fully placed their trust in her, letting her wear a necklace whose value was around $55,000, just to record a video for Vogue Korea. Not long after that, Jung Won Young was also invited to a big event of Fred in South Korea, and looking at her shining and bougie jewelry from Fred, many said her image was indeed elevated to the next level. When Jung Won Young did the photo shoot for Fred, the brand also sponsored her with necklaces, bracelets, and rings with a total value amounting up to $25,000. The brand even gave her a statement neckwear piece for their Pretty Woman collection, and its value alone was already $149,000. To make sure Jung Won Young was the room's attention shining their special jewelry, Fred also secured her a spot on Marie Claire Digital and when this happened, Jung Won Young was only with the luxury house for about two weeks. Besides, the special treatment material-wise, Jung Won Young also received a heartwarming welcome from the Vice President Artistic Director of Fred, Valerie Samuel. At the event, Valerie Samuel not only happily greeted Jung Won Young with an air kiss, but also endearingly looked at her throughout their very first conversation. A representative from Fred also specifically sent flattering compliments to Jung Won Young, believing her immense charms would help Fred portray their spirit most wholesomely. Number 2. Jisoo Dior While all four members of Blackpink receive extra special treatment from the brands they endorse, netizens believe Jisoo is still an outlier compared to the rest of the group considering how Dior has been showering her with the most exclusive privileges. 
Ever since becoming the global ambassador of Dior, Jisoo has not only been secured a special spot at all luxurious events related to Dior, but also established a strong bond with many senior managers of the famous fashion house. In fact, not only seniors, but all staff members of Dior are always there to have her back, including buying a VVIP suite at the Blackpink concert when the girls performed in USA to cheer her on. While luxury brands are extremely selective with what they post, both Dior and Dior Beauty decided to post and tag Jisoo in the stories about Blackpink's concert on their Instagram. Besides supporting Jisoo through small actions like coming to concerts, many senior managers of Dior also explicitly expressed their love toward her, which happens super rare in the world of designer houses since they need to preserve a sense of mysteriousness to maintain the brand values. During her trip to attend Dior show in 2021 Paris Fashion Week, CEO Pietro Bicari not only greeted her in a normal way, but even talked deeply about YG Entertainment, saying had they ever fired Jisoo, he would definitely take her under Dior's wings. He later emphasized the importance of Jisoo to the fashion house, saying the business between Jisoo and Dior was a perfect marriage, where both parties thrive thanks to each other. When the topic got trended among CNETs, many said they were taken aback as to how Dior's CEO could make such an offer, and while Bicari said it in a half-joking manner, they could see the implication of how he would wholeheartedly support Jisoo and hope to have a long-term cooperation with her. Besides always proactively strengthening the rapport with Jisoo, Dior also makes sure Jisoo only receives the most exclusive treatments from them. For example, during one visit to Dior in 2021, Jisoo was introduced in person to the famous Lady Dior bag, a special item designed in 1995 and offered to Princess Lady Diana. She was even allowed to feel the authentic texture of the bag without gloves on. And as netizens noticed, after Jisoo said the bag was so beautiful that she also wanted one, Dior quickly tailor-made her a similar bag since Princess Lady Diana's bag was a not-for-sale collector's piece. Not only taking care of Jisoo like a baby in real life, Dior also goes extra lengths to pay attention to every single thing related to their lovely global ambassador online. One time when posting about Jisoo on their official TikTok account, the brand jokingly contested with her fans to make sure Jisoo was theirs and only theirs. Dior also ensured Jisoo a soft spot on the covers of all famous magazines and most recently, she has been the very first Asian to have a solo cover on one of the big four covers, Vogue France. From South Korea to mainland China, the number of iconic artists that have long been in the industry and received Nobel awards is countless. Yet when Dior wanted to have a face best representing their spirit on Vogue France, they went for Jisoo. This special event quickly garnered the attention of Meta as just a few minutes after Jisoo posted the photo on her Instagram, Facebook and Instagram used their official accounts to compliment Jisoo. The head of editorial content at Vogue France also reposted Jisoo's cover on her personal Instagram. Editorial director of British Vogue, Edward Enninful, also liked the post. This made many people forecast that Jisoo would soon make it to the next cover of the big four magazines, turning her into the very first Asian to achieve such a triumph. Besides having Dior's support and being featured on special covers, Jisoo has even received a whole tailor-made wardrobe from Dior. Even on occasions that she didn't explicitly promote for the famous fashion house like Blackpink concerts and comeback press premieres, Dior still takes care of Jisoo's image and makes sure she always appears at her finest. Number 3. Lamy SM Entertainment more often than not, once a trainee leaves a company, especially one of the big three, to either pursue their own dream or simply to take a break, they will have a one-way ticket out. However, Lamy has recently become the very first exception in K-pop history to not only leave and rejoin SM Entertainment, but also receive a vast range of privileges that no trainees have ever received before. While SM Entertainment has their own scouting staff to recruit potential faces for the company, Lamy was specifically chosen by the former CEO Lee Soo-man and probably for seeing her great potential. She was even introduced under SM rookies along with Irin, Sogi, Taeyong, Jaehyun, and Jeno, all of whom are top famous members and have top resources to promote individually in their acts. What's even more mind-blowing was that Lamy was only 10 years old at the time, and while all other trainees only had their teaser photos posted, Posted, Lamy was given the privilege to record an introduction video along with SNSD's Tiffany. 
Not long after that, SM Entertainment also let Lamy join the famous show The Mickey Mouse Clubhouse of Disney, where Super Junior's Itook was the host. Just one year after training under the agency, Lamy was allowed to appear with other senior trainees and famous artists of SM Entertainment. At SM Town Live World Tour 4, and considering how big entertainment companies would never reveal their trainees' identity unless they were fairly sure about letting those trainees debut, Lamy was believed to soon be an official piece of SM family at just the age of 11. In the following years, SM Entertainment granted her various opportunities to enter the industry, bringing her commercial contracts in modeling, acting, game shows, and acting. AM, 11 o'clock, Montage, Twinkle Twinkle, Five Finger, and Red Velvet's debut, MV Happiness. Also for this, it was also a big shock that Lamy decided to leave the company around October 2022, and rumor had it that her departure was the aftermath of extreme depression with both the company and the entertainment industry. The last straw leading to her leaving was also said to be the exclusion from Espa's debut lineup, and soon after the speculation circulated the internet, Lamy opened a personal Instagram account, disappeared from SM's business reports and SM Rookie's profiles. However, just two months after that, Kim Sung-kyung, Lamy's real name, was spotted in SM's third quarter report. Kwon Obyom, the principal manager of actors under SM Entertainment, is also seen following Lamy on Instagram. And Lamy's profile on Neighbor listed SM Entertainment as her agency, raising suspicions that she has come back to the company. Because SM Entertainment is one of the most famous idol cradles where countless talented people come to audition daily, the fact that they let Lamy back rather than picking from the endless pools of candidates also spoke a lot about a special soft spot saved for only Lamy. Which factors do you think these celebrities have that make them such a gem deserving such exclusive privileges? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Be Boss TV for more interesting K-pop content. Thank you for watching!